All right, guys, do you guys know what day it is? Saturday. So you know what Saturday means? Bill day. So the reason I'm going to repair my front bumper is, you guys saw in the last video, it's damaged very bad right there. I had to zip tie it temporarily. It's all scraped up, and it's not the old three bumpers, so. Next, headlights, the left side was broken. That one's all fogged up. The uh, fog light bezel was like faded out. This is the old mid frame and grill. Faded out also. And right here, you can see it's cracked right there. Some parts in the bottom. That corner also. So before I open the garage and let all the light in, I'm gonna break it down to you guys. Um, all right. So I sold my tail lights for 550. And then these are all the parts I bought. And I, I ended up still having $50.90. Now the tail lights I used were from my old Mustang, the 2011. Um, the stock ones, I replaced them with the 2014 ones. And uh, they're pretty expensive. So I decided before selling the car, I put those back on and sell the uh, the ones I bought from the 2014. Sold them on eBay, made $550. As you can see, American Muscle website from bumper 170, 30, 30 for the bezel. Um, the Cobra grill emblem for 30. Then I bought the headlights. Oh yeah, um, I got them somewhere. Bought them for 66. I bought that part because, as you can see, mine is missing, so I, I had to buy it. American Muscle didn't have it, so I had to buy a used one. Then I bought the headlight clips. These hold the headlights for nineteen dollars. That grill forty four eighty four, and then the mid frame for fifty three eighty one. I will be installing those parts today. I will show you a before and after. Let's begin. Let's do this. All right. So right here I got the, the headlights, the grill, emblem, the bracket holders for the headlights, the fog light bezels, zip ties for the foam, mid frame, and front bumper. So I'm gonna install the foam right now. Pop there, use the zip ties, and uh, yeah, let's begin. Now the foam is installed. Zip tie here, tape, tape, zip tie. And then the mid frame is next. Now I got the mid frame. Uh, screw here, here, here. Here, here, you can't seem to find that screw. And here and here. And uh, no, it's not sponsored by Pepsi. Now that I'm trying to install the bumper, I came to this little, hold on, alright, so this goes here, and this pop rivet goes 
like this. Oh, hold on. I don't know what it was because there was no instructions. So that goes right there through the middle bracket. And then now that I watched a couple of videos, uh, you have to buy a pop ribbon gun. All right, so I went to AutoZone. I bought the rivet gun. It comes with three different sizes. Uh, the one I had was here. Switched it with that one. That's the one I do need. So as you can see, you put the rivet like this. And then you pull the trigger. But you have to make sure that the mount is the correct one. As you can see, it's not that one. I was just testing you guys out. It's that one. Make sure the holes align. Let's see. There you go. So now I'm going to have to get a second set of hands. Alright, so this is how it looks. As you can tell, that little ball that the rivet has gets pulled into the metal, which expands it, which makes a clean finish. So now I can put the bumper on the car and we'll see how it looks thanks to that $15 gun. Well, now that I got the bumper on, right here looks good. Just by maybe bolt, um, tightening up the bolt right there. We'll see once the headlight is on. This, you can see a little bit of gap. I might have to change this. For, I thought it was a Cobra one. This, the screw is kind of loose, so once I tighten it up, it's going to work. Okay, that's one. Two. Yeah, I think it's supposed to look like that. So something's off here. You think the mid frame has to go more forward? All right, now the headlights. Check it out guys, that's how you reassemble a front end on a Ford Mustang Cobra. I still need some finishing touches. I might get the uh, Cervini's Cobra hood. Fix that down there. See if I can find that bottom cover. The headlights is missing the long screw. AutoZone didn't have it, so I'm going to test uh, Home Depot. But yeah, check it out. are simple to install you just gotta remove this bracket right here pops right out same thing with here thanks for watching